there, and welcome to Coffee with Caroline and Nick. I'm Caroline Anderson, joined by Nick McCarville. We're here at the FEMA Cafe at Rogers Cup, presented by National Bank. Day two of uh, action here on Tuesday. Nick, it's another hot one here in Toronto. Yeah, it certainly is going to be a piping hot day of tennis action today, Caroline. Looking forward to seeing Novak Djokovic in action today. Also, probably the best first round match of the whole tournament. Nick Kyrgios taking on Stan Wawrinka. That's first. We're inside center court. It's just to our left. And in a few minutes, those boys will walk on. You can watch all day on TennisTV.com. You also can watch on Sportsnet if you're here in Canada with us. Yeah, and... For all of you guys watching at home, please make sure to send us your hot takes. We're later on in the show going to be coming out with some popping hot takes, piping hot takes of our own. We want to hear from you. What do you think is going to happen today? What do you think is going to be just something that goes yeah. on? So. Yeah, in general, we want to hear from you. Tune in. Let us know what you think, what your hot take is, or even if it's an icy cold latte yeah. take, we'll take that too. You know, it's hot enough. We can take that. <laughs> Let's start with a little bit of a recap of yesterday, yeah, sure. Monday. So it was a hot one. We had some rain, but luckily that rain managed to hold off, and we got all the matches completed yesterday. So that's always a good thing. Yeah, no, the rain came in the afternoon. It was actually a big storm here, but it was good for that to move through. And then in the night session, a big win for Milos Raonic to come through. I was actually somewhat surprised how easy that win was for him over David Goffin. An upset for Jack Sock to go out to Daniil Medvedev. And then earlier in the day, a big win for Peter Polanski, beating Matt Ebden, a top 50 player who's been in form uh, so far this year, coming through today, or excuse me, yesterday, and moving into the second round. Yeah, always nice to see a Canadian advance here at home in Toronto. And speaking of Canadians, we had Denis Shapovalov and Felix Auger Alassim on court in doubles together. They were taking on Novak Djokovic and Kevin Anderson. Fortunately, couldn't quite match that experience, but it was a fantastic one. National Bank Grandstand Court was absolutely packed. Yeah, I actually was out there, and the atmosphere was incredible. At the start of the match, when Felix and Dennis walked on, it was like a rock star welcome for yeah. the two of them. And to play against Kevin and Novak, two players that are so experienced, Grand Slam, uh, you know, Novak's won a Grand Slam, many Grand Slams, 13 of them. Kevin Anderson's now been to two finals in the last year. And I think the nerves, especially for Felix, maybe got to him a little bit. But I just think in general, it was a good experience for both those Canadian boys. Felix is in, in action this afternoon, and Dennis is playing tonight. Definitely a good warm-up ahead of today's action. And, yeah, of course, there's lots going on here. Make sure to download the app. You'll be able to see everything that's going around on site as well as on court. Yeah, of course, and it's the number one sports app in Canada. If you don't have it right now, you should get it. Go to Rogers Cup and make sure you get that. Also, rogerscup.com has all of your latest scores, headlines, anything you need. Go there as well. So now switching gears to today, another amazing day with a lineup that is just unreal. Stan Rarinka and Nick Kyrgios are going to be taking on each other in another rematch. They met here a few years ago, so it'll be interesting to see how that one goes. Yeah, and it's two to two head to head. These two guys have played four times before. Obviously, their infamous meeting in 2015. I think that's water under the bridge now. I don't think that it's a necessarily a talking point for these two guys. They're going to play good tennis today. Nick Kyrgios, I think, from a tennis perspective, how is his body feeling? And Stan Wawrinka, we're still waiting to see the true Stan return to tennis. He hasn't necessarily found his form the way, say, Novak Djokovic has this year because he was out at the end of last year with an injury of his own to his knee, and now he's back. It's just been a slow roll for him, Caroline, and I think it's going to be a big test against Nick Kyrgios today for Stan. Well, Stan, a semifinalist here in Toronto, but Novak Djokovic is also in action against Chung. That's a rematch of the Australian Open uh, match they played earlier this year. Yeah, it was a big win for Young Chung in Australia. He won in the fourth round in straight sets against Novak Djokovic, who was just starting his comeback and, and didn't necessarily feel like the full, the real Novak that we know. Novak's been 19 and three in his last 22 matches. And I think this will be a big test for Chung himself, who has dealt with some injuries this year. But you've got to give him a little bit of a chance today, Chung against Novak, but it's going to be a pretty tough test. Now, the last time Rogers Cup was here in Toronto, it was Novak Djokovic taking on Kei Nishikori in the final. Nishikori is another player in action today, taking on Grigor Dimitrov. Yeah, I mean, today, well, Grigor and Kei Nishikori are both in action today, yeah, yeah. not playing oh. one another. But there's so much good action yeah. today, right, on Grandstand. You've got so many good players, including, as you mentioned, Dimitrov, Nishikori. You also have players like Fernando Verdasco, who Dimitrov is playing, and so many players that we want to see do well on tour, right? And that's the great part about Grandstand and the outer courts. 
here at the Viva Center is you have the chance to see them up close, which is really cool. And Canadian fans will get another chance to see Felix Oje Alassim, 17 year old, but only for one more day yeah. because his birthday <laughs> is tomorrow. Yeah, it's really cool for Felix. And I've heard that good things happen around your birthday. So will that happen for Felix Oje Alassim? 